Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your July 2019. How do they feel about you reading? This is for Gemini. How do they feel about Gemini? We're going to see how this person is feeling, and then we are going to see if they will take any action in regards to those feelings for you, Gemini. This is for Gemini for July 2019. How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini? Gemini, we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So yeah, they do spill. They do feel a soul tie to you. Um, it's like your souls recognize each other. Okay. But there are huge differences here between the two of you, Gemini, uh, whether that's religion, age, culture, um, different uh, physical locations, different ways that you see things emotionally, um, spiritually, that kind of thing, right? Strong soul ties, but there are uh, significant differences here. Now we have free yourself, okay? Uh, it's time to take control back of your life. They could be trying to um, get themselves together here. They could be trying to release the situation. But I feel more so they feel like you are, Gemini. They, they feel like you're getting control back of your life and you're trying to move away from them. You're trying to free yourself from them, okay? So let's see where this is going. This is for Gemini for July 2019. How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini for July 2019? How do they feel? If this resonates with you, Gemini, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Gemini, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Gemini out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Gemini for July 2019. How do they feel about Gemini? How do they feel about Gemini? Yeah. Something kind of sudden here. Okay. So... <laughs> I feel like, yes, okay, Re some sort of spiritual connection here. We got Taurus energy at the bottom of the deck, right? This is a higher level of commitment, okay? Either you are trying to get away from them because I got Libra here. You're trying to divorce this situation, separate yourself from this person, but they still feel committed to you, okay? They still feel um spiritually connected to you they still feel like they have soul ties to you okay they still feel committed to you gemini i mean it's all over here it's it's all over so um the hierophant this is taurus energy of course so higher levels of commitment here that's that's how they still feel and they see you trying to break away from that or free yourself from that and i don't think they can right now so um, I'm going to read the energies of the cards. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, or will be dealing with in the future, if uh, their sign pops up, right? Time is fluid. If, if their sign pops up, then all the better. And keep in mind, some of these energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, right? So this was kind of a, a little bit of a shock to them that you you wanted to break free i feel you delivered some sort of swift communication truthful communication but i it kind of blindsided them that you went out that's what i'm that's that's what i'm seeing here knight of swords this is air energy gemini libra and aquarius so you delivered this truth to them that you want to break free of the situation but they simply cannot okay um, for some of you, it could have been like, surprise, 
here's your divorce papers. Okay, that's what I'm seeing here. So, Knight of Swords, right? They may try to come back in um, and surprise you. They may show up unexpectedly or you're going to get some sort of unexpected message from them. This is very fast-moving communication. They may be traveling here to see you. Um, they may be traveling or, you know, trying to get in touch with you in one form of another to tell you that they still want a solid commitment here. We have the King of Pentacles. This is Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So Gemini, this person still very much serious about you. They still want to make solid offers. They still feel like this, you know, they're committed to you and they want that to continue. Um, they don't want this to be over. All right. So they still have solid offers here for you. This could be male or female or somebody that works in um, finance, construction, um, banking, real estate, anything to do with land, anything to do with finances. This could be somebody that you uh, were working with. This could be, you know, you know. This is like a boss type energy, but all in all, this is somebody that wants solid, stable um, uh, relationships, okay? They, they want to, even, even if they didn't before, they do now. Um, and they still want this, this, they still feel very much tied to you, married to you. Um, they still feel like... No matter what these differences are, they, they want to smooth things over. They want to make it right here. They want to work on things. We have the Justice card here. This is Libra Energy. So this, for some of you, this could be, you know, I, you've decided to legally separate from this person or divorce this person. You, they know that you're trying to get your balance back. They may want to come back in and apologize and say they've learned some sort of lesson here. Okay. So just be aware of that. Um... Definitely could be um, strong karmic ties as well between you and this individual. Any more information in regards to how this person is feeling about Gemini or what actions they will take towards Gemini for July 2019? Any more information for Gemini? Yeah. Again with the Hierophant and decisions here. Okay, so they're seeing you as, they're seeing your worth, Gemini. Okay, because this is a high quality individual, male or female, absolutely does not matter. Nine of Pentacles, this is uh, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is somebody that knows their worth and they see your worth. Okay. And even though, you know, no matter how you're feeling inside Gemini, you're coming, you're giving off this air of that you, you've got it all together. I do, I do feel like, you know, you know your worth, but if you, I don't feel like you're showing any emotion towards this person. It's like you want them to know that you got it together and you're making it and I, you know, whatever they did, it, whatever. Okay, you're ready to move on from this. You're ready to be single. They do not like this, okay? They see the, your worth in their life, and they want you back, okay? They want you back, okay? It's not only is this person wanting to make you solid commitments now. Um, yeah, it's like they don't know what you got till it's gone. Well, you, you've, you've left the building, and they're still like, well, wait a minute, and see, now that's making them realize, oh, okay, Gemini was pretty good for me, right? So, this King of Wands energy, this is telling me that they still have passion for you. They're very attracted to you still. They still want to come after what they want. King of Wands energy is Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this could be a whole new energy for you, and they are they realize that there is, you know, 
another person vying for your attention because I do have the two of pentacles here. They may see you as having a choice in the situation, but they themselves, they, um, they still have a lot of passion for you and they still want to come towards you. Very attracted to you, okay? This king goes after what they want. Very ambitious, very, you know, go-getter type energy. Um, and that's exactly what they want to do. They want to come and get you because they still have that passion for you, Gemini. Again, I'm going to pull another card here too. Again, with this Hierophant, they still feel committed to you. They may see you having different options out there, okay? Or maybe having to decide between two people. Um, they themselves are trying to figure this thing out. They're, they're weighing this out. How can they, they do this? How can they, they're negotiating with themselves on how they can make it happen again with you. Okay. Two of Pentacles. This is earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But I think they see you as, you know, kind of juggling a couple different energies here. Um, they may think that you have someone else in your life. Okay, just so you're aware of that. More Earth energy here. Give me some more cards for your Gemini. Any more information for Gemini in regards to how this person is feeling? Yeah, they want a fresh new start here. They want a new beginning. Okay, they want a new beginning here with you. They want to take that leap of faith with you. They want you to open up emotionally to them. Then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor. So they still feel like they can control the situation here with you, Gemini. They still feel very protective over you, very loyal to you. Loyalty, that's the thing. Because they still feel committed to you. They still feel married to you. They still feel like they're in a relationship with you. They just, they just want a shot here to um, have a fresh start here with you. But they feel like, you know, you're, you've left the building. They, the bottom line here, especially with this card showing up twice, they still feel committed to you, Gemini, and that's exactly what I'm going to call this video. So um, I do see them trying to come towards you again, okay, because they, they do feel this way and they do still feel protective over you and extraordinarily loyal to you. Maybe not before, but now, now that they have seen your worth, okay? All right, Gemini, that is your July 2019. How do they feel about you reading? I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, I haven't felt so great the past couple days, so these are a little late getting out, and I do apologize for that. Next week, I will be working on the July 2019 mid-month check-ins, so check that out. And yeah, very interesting reading here, Gemini. Very interesting reading here. Um, I hope it resonates with you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, of course, most of you know I go live nearly every day except for Saturdays around noon Eastern Standard Time. So check all that out. Friday is the live Love Luster Loss. So Gemini, you have a great week and take very good care of yourselves. And I will talk to you soon. God bless.